What's up everyone, welcome to your 29th uh, PHP tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to check um, their form to when they enter all their information we want to validate it and make sure it's all right and also if it is we want to send them a confirmation email so they can actually sign up for the game and just a reminder to you guys um, if you go to my website thenewboston.com and scroll down until PHP all of my source code is right here for 27 28 and I'm gonna put 29 after this and another thing make sure you're watching these videos in high quality if you can't even um, read what I'm typing right now watching high qu quality is gonna be crystal clear and any questions that you have sign up for my forum at the new boston.com and ask me them there I never check my YouTube messages so if you ask me on my forum the new boston.com I guarantee I will answer them for you so now whenever the user submits all this data it's not going to actually check the data right here it's going to go to register next php and it's going to validate all the data there so what we need to do is actually make a file and we're going to save this as register next.php and the purpose of this file is to validate all the data that we got from this form in register.php and remember whatever the action is that's what script is going to go so under your new file you just created register.php the first thing that well the first thing that I'm going to do is make my PHP tags the second thing that you're going to want to do in the last tutorial maybe we remember we made in a file to uh, connect to our database we want to include that anytime we're gonna be adding information or getting it from our database we need to add connection PHP and make sure that those are in um, single quotation tags so now that we have included the connection file we can connect to our database and I remember I named mine like connect or con FFF or something but uh, just to show you guys uh, what it is, yours is going to be different but whatever it is put include and whatever your connection file is remember we did this in the last tutorial include it right there the next thing or the very first thing that we're going to want to do is test if the username is alpha numeric and if it isn't then we want to uh, post the error messages and this is what I mean by that in the website I already made uh, let's go Cora.com I don't have anything embarrassing in my history do I no nope. alright just checking I don't <laughs> I don't want to post this video and have something embarrassing in there to Cora.com in this is what we're going to be creating uh, in this tutorial. We want the user to enter um, a password with like, or a username with letters and numbers like this, or Greg55. But if the uh, user enters anything that has like symbols like that, then whenever they register, we want them to say, username must only contain letters and numbers. So they got an error messages, an error message. That's what we're going to be doing today. Let's go ahead and close that. We don't need it anymore. So the code for that, let's enter a comment so we know what we're doing. Test to see if username is alpha numeric. Yeah, I spelled it wrong, I know. The first thing we're going to need to do is make a variable to test. And this variable is going to be whatever their username, I mean uh, the username they entered. And this is where the post where are you register.php this is where the method post and the name comes in handy whenever you build a form in PHP the method and the username combine to make a variable so the variable starts out with of course a dollar sign underscore and then it's the actions name and since we're using post that's the name we want now in the brackets you type whatever the name of the uh, input is so dollar sign underscore post was the action or the method right here 
and the name is username right there so whatever they typed in for that it's going to be automatically converted into a variable called test so let's go ahead and do something with this information let's go set and make an if statement since we're going to say all right if your statement is alphanumeric then go ahead and continue on with the registration else if it's not then we're going to want you to uh going to want to send you an error message so first we need an if statement and an else statement in um send to actually so we say if then we test something else if it's not true then we're going to send you header um location invalid name dot html so we're going to put our test condition right in here and if it's invalid we're, what this means if it's invalid the other option we're going to send you to this website and that's the website that says sorry but uh, you, you entered a name with uh, symbols in there or something so t the test condition for this is uh, kind of complicated so pay attention we want to have the test we want to test this variable to make sure that our code is it is not or excuse me is alphanumeric it only contains um, letters and numbers so to do that you need to follow along really closely because this is really confusing you need to add a explanation point and type in e r e g i this is a built-in function that php uses to test whether variables are alphanumeric now in your parameters in that i need you to add quotation marks around right there quotation marks first and then you need to add empty brackets and in your brackets add the up arrow that's above the six then type in capital a minus capital z a minus z in lowercase and zero minus nine what this is going to do is test whether this variable is alphanumeric now if you're saying alright how do we know what variable to test the other parameter it takes is the variable test so again in case you guys were wondering right here we have a simple if statement that says I think I'm missing a parameter somewhere yep right here right there and right there and you can see alright here we go finally if um test right here the two parameters it takes is what test do you want to do and what variable you want to test so if we say alright if the variable test is not alphanumeric or is alphanumeric then we want you to uh, execute this code which we'll be typing in in the next tutorial but if it is if it does include anything besides this if it includes anything besides capital letters lowercase letters or number we want you to send it to the um, uh, error message that says alright you have an error something contains um, an invalid symbol so again this is the built-in PHP function right here that tests the name that the user posted and make sure that it only contains letters or numbers so go ahead and again I'm gonna have all this on my website the newboston.com um, you can plug all of this just copy it and paste it in your website if you want to make it really easy but again study this make sure you know how to test if your variable is alphanumeric and thank you guys for watching make sure to sign up in my form the newboston.com and again don't forget to be watching these videos in high quality so again thank you for watching and I'll see you next time